Well, you can now easily move all your WhatsApp chat history and media to a new phone without having to connect the PC, copy uh, to SD card or backup through the internet. In four simple steps, let me show you. Welcome back. We made a very powerful video on full backup and restore of WhatsApp for Android without root internet, you know, for some time now. But since this is 2020 and most people don't use SD card any longer, we're just going to do an upgrade. Step one, open your old phone, turn off the internet, open WhatsApp, and then go to settings and then to chats and chat backup. And then you back up your WhatsApp in your old phone, no internet, just disconnect the internet. So that's the first step. So once you've done that, and then you are ready to go to the second step. And in just four simple steps, I'm gonna explain this to you. And if you've done that in your old phone, okay, good, you've backed it up now. Now we're gonna use any app that can transfer folders, you know, uh, for this case, we're gonna use Zender, but there are a whole lot of other apps out there that can do the same thing. So you open the app that can transfer folders between application and application and then you open it and then you go to your SD card default uh, root storage and then copy the WhatsApp folder to your new phone. As you can see now, there's the transfer going from the old WhatsApp folder to the new phone. So that is the second step. And once we're done with the second step, we're going to move to the third step, which is open your new phone right now. And then you just go to the file explorer, go to Zender and go to the folder, subfolder, and then copy the WhatsApp from that folder, subfolder, inside Zender folder to the root of your SD card. Very, very important. This is the third step. So since you finished transfer transferring the second step, then copy it to the third step. So if you're watching this channel, you could just, just subscribe, click on that subscribe button, like the video, that gives us a whole lot of strength. So after you've done that now, just go to Play Store, which is um, part of the fourth step, you know, uh, you go to Play Store, you install your WhatsApp from Play Store in your new device. This time around, you probably will need internet to do that. So you install it in your new device, and then that's just about that. You open it, agree to their terms and conditions, put in your WhatsApp phone number, and uh, when you do that, you just do the process, the verification. Uh, this time around, my SMS won't work, so I picked up Call Me, which I feel is the fastest, you know, for some area, you know, I don't know. So WhatsApp will call you maybe directly from the US or maybe from your own uh, country, but they will just call you if you choose that. I mean, it's faster than SMS sometimes. So once you get the code, type it in, to verify you and then you just give whatsapp all the access to you know read the folders and and all stuff like that once you give it the access it will locate the backup you did in your old phone it will locate it as you can see it's like 15 minutes ago so you just click on restore and it will restore everything. So one of the important things that happened is that when you copy that folder, right inside that folder, every media, video, uh, GIF, uh, picture, uh, recording, whatever it is that is in the old WhatsApp is now brought into the new WhatsApp. And and so you, you have all your media files, all your audios, even the sent uh, images and videos you have them there so this is it now your whatsapp is back running on the new phone and you have everything that you need so um, that's just about that if you're watching up to this point please subscribe to the channel and to share this with people because i feel this is very simple in four steps and that's it your new phone with whatsapp and it's like you didn't go anywhere so that'll be it for now i'll see you in the next video peace subscribe out. i'll see you